Hi. Okay. How are you, V? I'm good. How about uh, you? You're good. I'm good too. Okay. So, are you ready for our lesson for today? Yes. Okay. Very good. But before we're going to have our new lesson for today, I am going to let you watch a video because this one has something to do with our lesson. So I want you to look at the video and then you have to take note um, the words that are uh, used in there. Okay? Okay. Okay, for a while. Okay, where is it? This one. Okay, are you ready, V? Okay. Okay, can you can you see it? Can you see this one, V? Can you see a girl? Yeah, yeah okay. Let's start. Hello, student. Hi. Good morning. How are you today? Do you feel good? Or do you feel great? Wow, amazing. Teacher May is very happy today because today is Monday. Again, today is Monday. Happy Monday to everyone. One more. Happy Monday. Very good. Okay. Are you ready to study our new lessons? Very good. Can you say again? Yes, we are. One more. Are you ready for our new lesson? Yes, we are. Very good. Okay. Let's go to our new lesson. Okay. Our new lessons for today is about Sports. Again, our new lessons is still about sports. Okay, look at the picture. This is Anna and this is Tom. Okay, hi Tom. Hello Anna. What's Belle's favorite sport? Indoor sports. Wow, what do you mean about indoor sports? Indoor sports means played inside the building or arena. Okay, again, what do you mean about indoor sports? Indoor sports means played inside, in, inside the building or arena. Wow, amazing. How about outdoor sports? Outdoor sports and activities played outside. Again, wow, amazing. How about outdoor sports? Outdoor sports and activities played outside. Again, when you say indoor sports played inside, when you say Outside outdoor sport played outside. Okay, everyone say indoor. Indoor sport. Very good. Outdoor. Outdoor sport. Very good. Clap your hands. I want to try the outdoor sport. Oh, do you want to try outdoor sports too? Okay, let's try. All right, let's join the sailing adventure on Monday. One more. I want to try the outdoor sports. All right, let's join the sailing adventure on Monday. Okay, let's go to outdoor sports again. Look at the pictures. Outdoor sports. O U T D O O R outdoor sports S P 
S-P-O-R-T-S. Sports. Outdoor sports. Number one, look at the picture. <laughs> Can you climb? Oh, it's dangerous, okay? So the picture is rock climbing. So this is a sports, okay? So the picture is rock climbing. R-O-C-K, rock. C-L-I-M-B-I-N-G. Climbing, rock climbing. Okay, next picture of, this is the example of outdoor sports. Okay, again, look at the picture. So this is horseback riding. Horseback riding. H-O-R-S-E-B-A-C-K. Horseback. Riding. R-I-D-I-N-G. Horseback riding. Very good. One more. This is the example of outdoor sport. Rafting. Rafting. R-A-F-T-I-N-G. Rafting. It's dangerous. Outdoor sports, skiing, skiing, S-K-I-I-N-G, very good, skiing, okay, look at this, it's a outdoor sports, biking, biking, B-I-K-I-N-G, biking, wow, outdoor sports, fishing, F I S. H-I-N-G, fishing. Let's go to indoor sports. Again, indoor sports. I-N-D-O-O-R-S-P-O-R-T-S. Indoor sports. One more. Indoor sports. Volleyball. Volleyball. V-O-L-L-E-Y-B-A-L-L. Volleyball. Very good. Okay. This is also an indoor sports. Badminton. Badminton. B-A-D-M-I-N-T-O-N. Badminton. Also an indoor sport. So this is bowling. Very good. B-O-W-L-I-N-G. Bowling. Basketball, B-A-S-K-E-T-B-A-L-L, -L. basketball, very good. Indoor sports, uh, boxing, okay, B-O-X-I-N-G, boxing. Also an indoor sports, judo, J-U-D-O, judo, very good. One more, where do you go fishing? Outside or indoor sport? Okay. Um, uh, v, let's try to answer the question. Okay. When you are doing fishing, okay, what do we what do you think would be the correct one? Is it fishing an outdoor sport or an indoor sport? Mm, outdoor sport. Yeah. Why is it becomes an outdoor sport? Because, because you do this one outside or inside your home? Because I outside in home. Yes, okay. Therefore, we can say that outdoor sports can be played or can be done outside our house or it's outside a building just like fishing so the correct answer is outdoor sport okay let's continue where do you go when you go in fishing at outside or indoor okay look at the picture choose outdoor sports or indoor sports what is your answer Okay, very good. It is an outdoor sport. Okay, very good, students. Next, where 
do you play boxing? Yes. Okay, B, let's try to guess this one and answer. Okay, is boxing an indoor sport or an outdoor sport? Mm. When do you play outdoor sports? It's an indoor sport oh. because we do this one inside a gym. Okay, once okay. we do this one in maybe in a building, okay, inside the house or inside a gym or inside a, um, a coliseum, okay, that is indoor sport. Okay, V, now remember all the time that outdoor sports can be played outside the home outside the building or outside the gym okay so again playing boxing is indoor sport okay let's proceed where do you play boxing indoor sports or outdoor sports what is your answer very good it is an indoor sport again where do you play boxing indoor very good. One more. Where do you go in biking? Okay, V. In this particular picture, so biking is indoor or outdoor sport? Outdoor sport. Yes. Why is it an outdoor sport? Because, because uh, we do because this one. This okay, one. Because we do this outside right yes. okay because we're not doing this one if you do the biking you're not doing this inside your home or we're, we're not doing this inside our gym or we're not doing this one in a uh, coliseum of course because biking is using the bike so you do this one outside so therefore this one is an outdoor sport. Let's indoor continue. Sports or outdoor sports? What is your answer? Okay, very good. It is an outdoor sport. Perfect. One more. Where do you go horse riding? Okay, V, let's try to answer. What do you think would be this kind of sport? Is it indoor or outdoor sport? Or uh, Outdoor sport. Very good. Okay. Indoor sports Continue. or outdoor sports? Who says indoor? Okay. And who says outdoor sport? Okay. Let's check the answer. Oh, the correct answer is outdoor sports. Clap your hands. Who raised for outdoor sports? Very good. Okay. Look at the picture. What do you see in the picture? Yes. Okay, V, let's try to answer this one. Skiing is indoor or outdoor sport? <coughs> mm, outdoor sport. Very good. So skiing what kind is of outdoor is sport. Skiing. Very good. So skiing, it is an indoor sport or outdoor sport? Who says indoor sport? And who say outdoor sports? Okay, let's check the answer. It's outdoor sports. Very good. One more. Look at the picture. Okay, so this is rock climbing. Okay, V, what do you think would be the correct answer? When we say rock climbing, is it indoor or outdoor sport? Outdoor sport. Very good. So the correct so what answer kind is of sport outdoor is this? sport. Indoor sports or outdoor sports? Who says outdoor sports? And who says indoor sports? Okay, let's check again the no answer. The answer is outdoor sports. Rock climbing is an outdoor sport. Very good. Last. Look at the picture. Okay, this is. Okay, let's try to help teacher 
to find the correct answer. Rafting is outdoor or indoor sport? Outdoor. Very good. Okay, yeah, you're yes. correct. Rafting. So rafting, outside, outdoor sports or indoor sports? Again, outdoor sports or indoor sports? It's outdoor sports. Very good. Now you learn. Let's practice one more. Look at the picture. Okay, what about this one? The judo, or when we say judo, is a karate. Okay, so what do you think is this? Is this an indoor or this one is outdoor? Indoor. Yes, okay. We do this one inside the gym. So we have to say it's indoor sport. Okay, let's continue. It is a judo. Okay, outdoor sports. Or indoor sports who say outdoor sports and who say indoor sports very good let's try it's indoor sports very good clap your hands okay let's try the boys okay all boys only all boys to answer okay again for boys Okay, for all, only only boys, okay, girls, keep quiet, okay, boys, this is skiing, so skiing is indoor sports or outdoor sports, what is your answer? Outdoor. It is outdoor sports, very good boys, next, only boys to answer, rock climbing, it is outdoor sports or indoor sports? Outdoor. It is? Outdoor sports. Very good, boys. Next. Look at the picture. Outdoor sports or indoor sports? It is outdoor, outdoor sports. Very good, boys. Okay, girls. Okay, let's check for girls. Look at the picture. What is your answer? Indoor sports or outdoor sports? Indoor. It is? Indoor sports. Very good, girls. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's practice reading. Okay, let us read. Indoor sports. Judo, badminton, table tennis, bowling, boxing. For outdoor sports, horse riding, rafting, fishing, rock climbing, biking, skiing. Very good. Okay, before we end, I just want to add basketball, badminton, volleyball. So, they are indoor, indoor sports, but these sports can play indoor and outdoor. Okay, again. Okay, we have to remember, V, that the following uh, games, okay, like basketball, badminton and volleyball can on can also be played outdoor okay let's say for example if we are going uh if we're going to go to the beach right so if we're going to go to the beach we usually play volleyball in there right right v yes yes so therefore we can also say that volleyball not only played indoor but we can also play this outdoor the same with badminton right sometimes we do practice badminton outside the gym so that is outdoor and sometimes basketball can be played outside just like for example uh, in your place, you just have to set up a basketball court, and there you have it. You can able to play basketball outdoor. Did you get it, V? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Basketball can play outside. Badminton can play outside. Volleyball can play outside. But... They can play also inside, okay? Inside the gym or inside the arena. So, these three sports 
can play indoor and outdoor. Okay, do you understand? Again, basketball, badminton, volleyball, this sport can play indoor and outdoor. If you write it indoor sports, this also is correct. But when you, but when you put it outdoor, but still the answer is correct. Because these three can play indoor and outdoor. Okay? Any question? Okay? If you have no question, everyone, clap your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Everyone got a big start. from. Okay. So there you have it. V. So we had able to see our presentation. We had able to see about um, what are those, V? Can you tell me what we had able to see in that particular video? It's all about what? Yeah. Okay, it's all about what? The video. Yes. What can you say about the video? We talk about? Indoor and outdoor. Yes, yeah, so we have two things to remember in that particular video. We talk about indoor sports and we talk about outdoor sports. So that was the that uh, was the that uh, things that we should have to remember. Okay? Okay, now why is it we need to watch that one? Because our lesson for today it's all about different kinds of sports, okay? So that is also indoor and outdoor sports. But aside from the indoor and outdoor sports, we have also the so-called activities. We have also indoor activities we have also outdoor activities. So we will be going to find that here in our lesson in Unit 12. What's the title of our lesson for today, V? Okay, yes. Can you see this one? Yes, I can yes. see. Yes, okay. What's the title of our lesson? It's about? Goose bark. Yes, so uh, the title of our lesson for today is about good sports. So how are we going to become good when it comes to sports? So that's our lesson. But before that, allow me to present to you the overview of our lesson. So in here, we will be going to study about vocabulary, all about indoor and outdoor sports. And of course, we are going to study also vocabulary about adverbs with the L-Y suffix. And for the grammar, we are going to study about the present continuous tense with the he, she, and it. And of course, we have to learn one to learn two structure. And lastly, is the pronunciation about the sound of. Okay? Okay, do you have questions okay. with this, V? Do you have questions with this? No. No, very good. Now, as part of our warm-up activity, can you read the instruction, V, what it was written in here? Which? Okay, can you read this one, V? Which? Uh, which sport do you like playing? Okay, now let's try to look at the different sports in here. We have sports for the girls, and we have also sports for the boys. Sometimes both the girls and the, the boys play that, right? Okay, let's say, for example, basketball. Basketball? Can on can also played can also be played by girls, right? Okay. Volleyball can also be played by both girls and boys. 
Okay, so whatever gender you have, you can do that kind of sports or you can do that kind of play. Okay, now in this pictures in here, V, what do you think or which do you think or which sports do you like playing? Can you tell me? I like um, I like swimming. Very good. So you like swimming. And we have to take note that swimming can be played only where? Is it indoor or is it outdoor? What do you think, <laughs> B? Is swimming can be played indoor or is it outdoor? Or outdoor. is it both? Outdoor. Okay, but remember, swimming can also be played indoor because we do have uh, a lot of pool that has our inside the building also, right? Yes, uh, aside from the beach, in going to the beach, of course, if you are going to the beach and swim there, that would be an outdoor. But if you are going to a pool that is a private pool, pool and then there is there would be a big building in it and they're going to set up a pool so that's the time that we can say that swimming can also be played indoor did you got it v yes yes so swimming can be both indoor and outdoor now aside from swimming v what do you like playing also no. Again? <coughs> no. I... Ah, nothing. So it's just only swimming. Okay? Yes. Oh, it's nice. Very good. Okay, now, moving on. So let's try to have this particular vocabulary in here. Now look at the pictures. Picture A and picture B. So on the left side, which is picture A, we have outdoor activities. Can you name what are those outdoor activities that you can do, V? Can you name them? Okay, now we're talking about activities now. Okay, we're not talking about games or sports. We're talking about activity, but still the activities or our activities can also be done outdoor and indoor. So in this particular pictures, A and B, we can say that in letter A, all of these are outdoor. And in picture B, all of these are indoor. Okay? Now, can you name some of the pictures in here, B, that is outdoor activities outdoor yes so can you name a a, a a an activity that we can do outdoor like do you know how to play this uh try. yeah flying kite flying kite yes you know how to do this one do fly. you play this yeah do you yes. do you also uh, fly kite Yes. Yes, very good. Yeah. Here in the Philippines, because sometimes it's windy, we usually go out and we usually fly kite also here in the Philippines. And then, okay, what else? What else do you know in here, B? Do you know this one? Do you know this kind of activity, V? No. You don't know this one. So we call this one a seesaw. Okay. Seesaw. Yeah, it's seesaw. So we call this one a seesaw because it should be balanced between the two person. You're going to sit down in here and you're going to sit down in here and then you're going to pull this one or not pull, but you are going to what? You're going to push maybe. Then the person will going to up and then the girl also will going to push down. Then the boy will going to pull it up. Okay, 
So this one is what we call a seesaw. What about this one, V? Do you know how to play this? Oh, uh, I. This I one know. is. Okay, this one is a slide. Okay. Slide. Yeah, we can we can usually see this one uh, in the parks. So parks has a lot of slides. So when we were young, we usually do this one, okay? But of course, if you are old, you cannot do the slides anymore, okay? Do you know how is, what is this V? Do you know how to play this? This one is what we call. Uh, do, do you know this? Swing. Yes, very good. And swing can only be played outdoor. Although you can also set up a swing inside your home, but it's rarely, okay? Rarely that we do that one because most of the time we can just have to play this one outside because you are, it's very enjoyable if we're going to do this outside. Just like this one, it's swing. This one is also swing. And then what about this one? Do you know how to to drive a bike, V? Do you know uh, how to bike? Drive bike, yes. Yes? Oh, really? Okay, very good. So biking can, on, can also be done outdoor. So it cannot be done indoor, okay? And then there's a lot more. Now, look at the picture letter B, V. What do you think would be these pictures? Again, the clue would be we do this one inside our house. Like toothbrushing. Do you do toothbrush outside your house? V? Do you do you do you uh do you uh, uh tooth do you brush your teeth outside your home? Yes, yes. or no? Do no. you do that? No, of course, because we can do this one inside our home. What about eating? Do you do you eat outside your home? No. Okay. Uh, Sometimes, okay. Yes. Sometimes we do this one. Let's say, for example, if we are going to go on picnic, right? Yes. Okay. Let's say, for example, if you're going to do to to go to the beach, and then we brought or we we bring a lot of foods, and then what happened in there? Of course, you do swimming, and then after that, after swimming, you have to eat the food that you bring, right? Okay. So sometimes eating, of course, can be can be done outside, but most of the time, eating can be done only inside your home or house. And not only in the house, we do this one because we do it in the restaurant, right? Yes. Right, V? Yes. So we also eat inside the restaurant. We also eat inside the cafeteria, okay? We also eat inside the, the canteen. So therefore, it's indoor. What about reading? Do you read outside, be outside of your house? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sometimes, okay? Let's say, for example, if you have a garden inside your house or, or outside your house and there, there would be swing in there and you would like to sit on the grass, so you can bring with you your book and then you can read them, okay? But not all the time because if you do study, it can only be done inside your house, okay? The most of the time, okay? Then what about if you do painting? Do you paint inside or outside the house? Uh outside sometimes yes yeah, sometimes okay but most of the time it can be done inside the house or inside a building okay then what about playing what 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 play is this this one is 
What do you think would be this one? A tennis, right? So playing tennis, is it inside or outside? What do you think, V? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think? Is playing tennis can be done inside the house or is it outside the house? Outside. Okay. But sometimes we do this one, okay, inside the gym, right? Yes. Okay. Most of the time we can do this one inside the gym, but sometimes we can play this outside. But most of the time inside the gym because there would be a net in there, okay? Then we have also playing dolls. Do you play inside the house or do you play your dolls outside the house? V. When you were young. When? Yeah, when you were young, where did you play? Is it outside your house or is it inside your house when it comes to playing doll? Um, outside. Okay, sometimes. sometimes. Yes, but most of the time you <coughs> play with this inside the house. What about sleeping, V? Do you do this inside or outside? Inside. Yes, okay. Uh, rarely, sometimes we do sleep maybe outside our house. If we have there maybe a small bench in it, okay, or a small house in it, and you would like to go there and you would like to take a nap in there but usually sleeping overnight can be done inside the house not outside did you got it now v okay did yes. you understand now our lesson it's all about outdoor activities and we have also indoor activities and of course we have also outdoor games and we have also indoor games. Did you get it, V? Yes. Yes, okay. Let's move on in here. Now look at the following words, V. Can you read them? Say. V, can you read this yeah. one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, skate. Okay. And then? Don't. Sail. Sails. Again, sail. Sails. Okay. And then? Swim. Then? Fish. Now, look at this one, B. If you are skating, where did you do it? Inside, outdoor, or indoor? Out. Yes, outdoor. When you are do sailing, sailing a boat, where did you do this? Outdoor. Outdoor. When you are swimming, where did you do this? Uh, okay. Most out. of the time, it's outdoor. Out. If you if you go to the beach, but sometimes swimming can also be done inside like for example in a building there's there's a big building and uh, someone uh, set up a pool in there so you can swim but that's inside a building right okay what about when we say fishing where did we do fishing uh fishing inside or outdoor outdoor yes very good because we cannot do fishing inside our home or house or a building because it doesn't have a it doesn't have a fish right so so the, so therefore we cannot do fishing inside the house okay moving on b what about this one now can you read them uh, dance, dance climb climb Okay, again, can you say climb? Climb. Okay, next. Do ballet. Okay, do ballet. 
to ballet. Yes, silent T, okay? We do not pronounce the T in here. So it should be ballet. Do ballet. Can you read do it again? Do ballet. That's correct. And then? Do gymnastics. Yes, so do gymnastics. Okay, now look at the following words. V, what do you think are these words? So these are examples of indoor activities. When you do dancing, you do dancing maybe on the stage most of the time. Okay? When okay. you do climbing using the following, okay, just like a uh, you are doing a uh, climbing in a, in a particular park, so you can do it, okay, indoor. And when you do the ballet, you do this one on the stage, right, V? And then when you do gymnastics, you do this one also on the gym or on the stage. Did you got it, V? And what do we call this kind of activities, V? We call this one as... Indoor activities. Very good. Now, V, questions. What do you think would be the differences between outdoor and indoor activities or sports? What do you think? Mm -hmm. So sports are habits, right? Okay, sports are your habits, meaning you, that would be that you would like to do. So that is a sports or other term for this is a game. But the following terms like dancing, climbing, uh, doing ballet, okay, doing gymnastics, all of these are activities but not a game. Right, V? So all of these are activities but not a game. Also, this one, skating, but sometimes skating becomes a sport. Sailing becomes also a sport, swimming becomes also sport, and then fishing become also sport sometimes, but not most of the time. Because we can also say that these words can also be called as activities. Did you got it, V? Hello, V, did you got yes. it? Yes, very yes. good. Now, we have here a conversation between Anna and um, the other person. So, can you read them now? Can you say? Wow, amazing. How about outdoor sports? Yes. Yeah, so, wow, amazing. How, how about outdoor sports? So, again, when you say outdoor sports, what are those? Outdoor sports, an activity. Play it outside. Yes, yeah, so you just have to remember from the word outdoor, outside. So meaning outdoor means outside. Got it? Okay, and then when we say, can you read this one, V? Yeah. I. Uh, oh, I want to try the outdoor spark. Okay, all right. Let's join the sailing adventure on Monday. Okay, so they are going to try the outdoor sports. And what are those outdoor sports? Can you read this one, V? Yes. Okay, read. This one is? Right. Yes. So one of the examples of an outdoor sport is a rafting. Have you experienced rafting V? Not yet. Because this one is dangerous. Okay. Have you experienced this or not yet? Yeah. Not yet, because this is very dangerous, okay? Especially if the current of the water is too strong. So, you need to 
what you need to balance because if you could not balance that, you might get hurt, okay? Just like they're doing, they're doing a paddle. So they keep on paddling, okay? So that they can move, okay, going down. Okay, so that is rafting. What about the second one? Horseback riding. Is horseback riding outdoor sport or indoor sport? Okay, V? Uh, yeah. Okay, horse, horseback riding, House. indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. Yes, because we did that one last time. Same with this right climb, climbing, skiing, biking, fishing. All of these are outdoor sports. Now, when you say indoor sports, these are volleyball. Look at this one. Volleyball can be done inside. So, therefore, we call this one as outdoor or indoor sports next one it's badminton because a badminton we can play this one inside the gym because there would be a net in it okay and then uh, as well as bowling okay we cannot do bowling or bowling. the proper bowling outside it could be done inside have you experienced playing bowling v yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So it's 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 a very interesting uh, game. Okay. Okay. Next. What about basketball? So basketball is also an example of an indoor sport. Next. And judo. judo. Yeah, it's a judo. So when you say judo, it's a kind of karate. And uh, judo karate can be played inside the gym. So it's indoor sport. Okay? Okay, now B, the structure of our lesson for today is all about the present continuous tense. Can you read this one, B? Say present continuous tense. B, can you read present? Yes. Uh, okay. What? Present, present continuous, continuous tense. tense. Okay. Now, what do you remember about present continuous tense, B? Have you remembered that one? Or maybe you were able to study this one last year. So, how do you remember that? Or what do you remember about present continuous of the tense? So what do you think is this one, V? Yeah. Do you know this? Mm, I don't know. Okay. Actually, from the word present, because verbs has tense. Verbs has tenses, not only one. So one of the tenses of the verb is present continuous. So that is how we're going to, or that is what we are going to study today. So it's all about the present continuous tense. Now, in the present continuous tense of the verb be, we have to remember that it has purpose or purposes. So purpose number one, can you read this one, V? Yeah. To, to describe to restore activity at the moment of speaking. Yes. So what does it mean, V, to describe activities at the moment of speaking? Like, for example, what we are doing now, what I am doing now is I am speaking speaking to you okay so therefore the activity that i am doing at the moment is speaking right okay so it describes an activities at the moment 
at the moment of speaking. And what is the purpose number two, V? To? Yeah. To? Describe to describe future plans or okay. arrangements. Arrangements. Okay. Can you say describe? Describe. Okay. And then can you say arrangements? Arrangements. Okay. So what does it mean? So meaning? We can be able to describe our future plans or an arrangement if we do the present continuous tense of the verb. Now, what are the structure? So, structure number one, in asking question, we need to do the what first plus the be verb plus the subject plus the ing form of the verb okay example what are you doing now let's apply the structure what first okay b are you following b what first plus b verb is r plus the subject you plus the verb in ing form doing because the original verb that we have is do right in order for this to become currently or presently or you are describing activities at the moment of speaking we just have to add ing so what happened it becomes what are you doing okay did you understand B? You have to start by asking the word what. Then following after the what would be a B verb. Now, what are those B verbs that we have? B, I hope you can still remember our lesson. What are B verbs? We have is, we have are, we have am, um, we have they, uh, no, we have are, okay, we have was, we have where. Okay? So those are B verbs B. Did you got it? Now, in this particular sentences that we have, the first one, we use the R B verb. The second one, we use the, what we use the B verb in here? What's the B verb in second sentence B? Yeah. So what's the be verb in the second sentence? What is, what he, is doing? he doing? Okay, what's the be verb? E is. Is. Yes. On the first sentence, what are you doing? So what is the be verb? Oh. Are. Uh. Yes, very good. So be verbs are and is. Okay, but not only are and is, we still have was and where, right? If this one is already, what? It's already done in the past. But this time, we are just talking about ing. That means we are doing that at the moment. So therefore, we just have to use only are and is. Are if it's many, okay? And then is if it is only one person, right? Again, when we use the you, the you doesn't have a doesn't have a number. Okay, it's always plural. So therefore, we have to use R as the B verb. Did you get it, V? Okay, example, another example. I'm going to write it on the chat. So when you say, okay, let's say for example. What? Oh my God, I don't see your screen. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. No, no problem. I'm going to let you uh, see my chat first. So what is, okay, what are, wait, what are you eating? Okay. 
today. Okay, look at the chat V. Can you read that? What are you eating today? Okay, uh, the structure, what is the first word that we use using the structure? We use what, right? Yes. Yes, following after what would be? What word following after what? Are. I don't see your screen. There. Yeah, it's okay. Do, do not see the screen. Just see the chat. The chat for a while, okay? okay. Yeah. Okay. So what is the first one? Following after what would be R, right? Yes. Yes. Following after R would be U, right? Okay. Then following after U would be eating. And then there's an object in here today. But the word eating there is a B verb under, uh, no, not a B verb, but is an ING form of the verb. So again, the structure would be what plus B verb plus subject plus ING form of the verb. Did you understand it, B? Okay, let's say for example, what is yes. she yes. doing? Okay, look at the, the second sentence that we have, V. Can you read that? What? Okay, what the is chart. she doing? Yes, yeah, so what is she doing? So the first one, the first word is? Is. What is what? Doing? Okay. What? The first word is what? Then what is the second word? Uh, is. Is. Okay. is. Is. Okay. What is the first word? The second word is is. And then what is the subject? She. She. Very good. And then what is our ing form of the verb? Do. Do. Wing. Doing. Yes. Okay. Again, let's try to apply. What plus be verb. What's our be verb in the second sentence? What is she doing? What's the be verb? Be? Is. Yeah. Is. Right. What is the, the, what is the subject? Again. Uh. She. she, yes. And what is the ing form of the verb? Doing. Very good. Now, it's time for you to do your own sentence B using the structure what plus B verb plus subject plus ing form of the verb. Can you write it just like what I did? Okay, type it V, type on the chat. Okay, I want to see. Can you do it, V? Yes. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll have to wait for you. Type that. Uh, use the uh, structure what plus uh, B verb plus subject plus ING. Okay. Can you type it now, V? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> So I, I'm uh, I'm waiting. I have to check that. Okay. Uh, example: the one that I did last while ago. What are you eating today? What is she doing? So that is that is also um, uh, that the same structure that you need to do. Okay. Okay. Can you do it now, V? Can you type it? Okay, let me see. Uh, give me a sentence by typing it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what is your sentence V? Sentence? I, yes. I don't know. Oh, using the what plus the yeah. verb plus subject, plus ing, the same thing. Can you write? 
No, you will. You are the one to write it. Okay, because I am going to see if you know how to write that. Okay, right? Can you write it? Sure. Okay, write it um, on the chat. Let me see. Uh, okay, what is your, what, what you think? What you think? What is it in your mind? Okay, begin with what first? What? Okay, and then after what would be a B verb? So what B verb you're going to use? R or is? Just choose only one B. I have to write it so that you can be able to see it. So write me. Uh-huh. Okay, V, what? Then after that, what B verb you're going to use? Choose R or is? Okay. Oh, that's it. See? So I can see your screen. Yeah, yeah. Don't, never mind the screen B, okay? What I am wanted to see is this. Yeah. It looks like this B. It looks like yeah. this. You type, right? You type. Okay. Can you use what? What first plus the B verb? Then plus the, the subject. Okay. And then plus the ing form of the verb. Okay, give me an example B. So, uh, just like, for example, what I did. Okay, what is she doing? Okay, this one is an example. Now, give me also an example B using your own example. Example? Yes, the same structure. Okay, start it with what first, and then use maybe is, or use maybe are, and then subject, and then B, V, uh, I, N, G form of the verb. And there you have it. What yes. are you, yes, okay. Don't forget to put what, because you are asking question, you have to put, okay, I'm going to check, huh, V? You have to put, what did you forgot to put? To put. Look at my, my sentence B. I corrected it. Oh. Yes. Okay, what's the missing? What did you forgot to put? Question mark mm. at the end. Why? Because in asking question, it's very important to put a question mark. Okay? Now, do another one B. This one is correct, okay? You you got it correctly. Then another one. Give me another one B. Type it again. But another, another sentence B. Yeah. Okay. I have to wait for you. Uh, I... Uh. Okay. Uh, write it. Write it on the chat. Just like what you did. What are you playing today? So that is correct. But you forgot to put question mark. Then another example. Another one. Okay. Can you do it, V? Write me. Yeah. You have to write. Write that. Oh, I can't understand what you are saying. Okay, so the one that you that the one that you did while ago, you do you did a sentence. What are you playing today? That's correct, right? Okay, that's correct. So that is one of the example. Now I am saying you do again another another sentence with the structure what plus b plus subject plus ing aside from you you aside from the first one that you gave while ago okay never mind b okay i'm going to show you my 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 presentation now okay look look at this one can you see it now yes yeah okay so let's do this 
Okay, I have to say, okay, for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. I cannot see them. Okay, for a moment. Okay, you cannot see this, right? Right, V, you cannot see it, right? Yeah, I can okay. see. Can you give me an example be using the structure uh, what plus B verb plus subject plus ing? Okay, you said while ago, what's your example? You said it. What are you playing today, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write it. What are you playing today? So this one is correct. Okay, all I wanted to do is, can you give me, aside from this, another, another sentence? Okay, look at your sentence B. Can you see this one? Can you read it? Okay, can you read this one, V? Can you say? What are you lying today? Very good. So this one is correct. Now give me another example like this. Okay, just tell me. I, have, I, I will be the one to type. Okay, again, start your sentence with what? So what, what is... Maybe he, okay, what is he planning to do? So this one is another example. Okay, look at this one, B. Can you read sentence number two? Yeah. Yeah, oh, wait, planning. It's planning, okay, for a while. Okay, can you read that again now? Say. What is he planning to do? Yes. Now look at this one B. We do have the ing form of the verb. Same. We do have the ing form of the verb in here. Okay. Can you see it B? Yeah. Okay. So this one is an examples or sentences that you can use the structure what plus be verb plus subject plus ing form of the verb. Okay, V? Okay, so I think it's already time. So we are just going to continue this one next meeting, B. Okay? Okay. Okay. Do you have questions, B? No. No, okay. So thank you so much for your time. We'll see you again next meeting, B. Bye. Bye. Bye.